So in subsiding, we talk a lot about uh, reading speed, and you already told us in the past, like what sort of reading speeds can be too uh, fast and uncomfortable for viewers. Uh, there's also, I think, this assumption in the subtitling world that, uh, especially in those countries where conversation is a big thing, and for those subtitles where who, who think conversation is very important, so we condense the text, we shorten the subtitle not only for people to be able to read the subtitles in time, read all the text in time, but also on the assumption that we want to give them time to look at the images to see what is actually happening in the film. Do we know from research how much of people's attention is on the images versus the subtitles, or could we give like advice to people what would be the, uh, the ideal ratio? I'm sensing that might be impossible, but is there anything we know about that? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, so, uh, most, uh, the vast majority of uh, tracking studies that I have looked into um, uh, have found that uh, people spend uh, about 30 to 40 percent of the time when uh, subtitles are displayed uh, looking at the subtitles and the rest uh, would uh, be uh, spent on the image. Um, the important thing we need to remember, and there is a trend, uh, and there's, an, and there's eye tracking evidence to show this, that uh, the higher the reading speed of the subtitles, the less time viewers will have to watch the images and the more time they will spend on reading the subtitles. However, uh, I have not seen any evidence to prove that uh, the when subtitles reach uh, the speed of, I don't know, 180 or 200 uh, words uh, per minute, viewers will spend as much as 80% of the time on the subtitles. So uh, I think that's uh, a little bit of an exaggeration and I haven't seen any evidence uh, for this. I've seen uh, this around, so I just wanted to clear that uh, I have personally uh, not seen any evidence for this, uh, but of course there is a trend with higher speeds, uh, people spending more time uh, reading uh, the subtitles at the cost of the images. So it's used as one of the big questions uh, in the subtitling so that hasn't been answered yet, uh, at least not with a lot of rigor. So perhaps we are hoping that uh, your researchers will provide us with this answer. Uh, so... No, I don't think so. <laughs> I, don't think I don't think it's possible to to answer because it all depends uh, on the film, on the viewers, on the context, on what's going on in the screen and what uh, is actually there in the text of the subtitles. So there is, if you're looking for a, a nice formula that you can apply everywhere, that if your subtitles are displayed at 140 words per minute, then viewers will spend, I don't know, 50% of the time. Um, on subtitles versus the images and uh, with 200 words per minute, 80%, I don't think that's the case. So, um, uh, sorry. Mm. <laughs> I'm wondering perhaps that's uh, one of the issues with communicating results of research to a wider community, that research doesn't usually give us nice, easy answers and provides uh, easy and clear formulas to people uh, that people expect. That's true. We would all love to have uh, an easy uh, answer, uh, one uh, reading speed threshold, uh, some universal rules that would be applied uh, everywhere. But I'm sorry to say, I don't think that's the case.